Hello everybody. Uh, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe two, I put a new wheel on my buddy's wheelbarrow um, because the old one was pretty well shot and he was kind enough to loan it to me for uh, truthfully an extended period of time. And I thought it'd be nice to return it with a new wheel, you know, just to kind of say thank you. The last thing I want to do, or actually there's two things I want to do before I return this wheelbarrow. One is when I replaced the wheel, I tightened up these front bolts here and here. And I also tightened up the bolts on the axle bracket. One thing I couldn't easily get to were the bolts right here on the, uh, the rails that let it set level on the ground. I'm not sure what they're called. So I've got my uh, socket wrench. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crank these four bolts down, get that nice and tight so the whole thing is sturdy. And then we're going to take it out in the backyard and we're going to wash the bed, the whole wheelbarrow off really, but really clean the bed of it out uh, and, and get it to where it, you know, all the dirt that I left in it is gone and ready to be returned to my good friend. And with that, the wheelbarrow is nice and sturdy. I noticed while I was using it to haul those culverts off that it was wobbling a little bit when I set it down and when I was loading and unloading it. And that reminded me that I was not able to tighten those bolts. It's good and tight now, so let's run it around the backyard and let's hose it out. Apologize for the wind noise, but I can't do anything about Mother Nature. I brought the wheelbarrow out here to the culvert and I've got it right over top of the drain. That way I don't make a mud hole in the yard. Uh, anything that I wash out, and it's just dirt and dust, we'll just go down the drain and dirt and dust isn't going to hurt that because it's at the end of that ditch in my yard and it's getting tons and tons of dirt every time it rains. So let me grab the hose and we'll hose her out. Well, we have a slight problem. It got down pretty chilly last night, and I think there is some ice crystals uh, in my hose because the hose is turned on at the house. I just double checked it, and we're not getting anything down at the other end here. So I think I think we've got a plugged hose, which reminds me something else we need to do when we're done washing this out is empty this hose out, get it rolled up, and put it in the shed. Uh, I'm going to work on the hose for a few minutes, and uh, we'll if we can get it freed up, we'll we'll uh, clean this wheelbarrow. I've got the wheelbarrow cleaned up. It looks really nice. I'm just going to let it sit here between the two garages for a little while. Uh, it'll drain dry and then there's quite a breeze today. You probably heard all of the wind noise in the video. It should uh, dry it off pretty quickly. And this evening I'll give my buddy a call and see if I can't arrange getting it back to him. What I want to do is I'm going to go out there and get that hose emptied out. Uh, and it, I've got the ice crystals. It had a little bit of just crystals and it wasn't much. They came down to the nozzle and plugged the nozzle. That's why I wasn't getting any flow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the nozzle off, disconnect the hose from the uh, spigot, and then we'll pull it down the yard, let it drain all the water out. I'll roll it up and get it put into the shed.
got my hose run down through the yard out into the street. There's a kind of a, a gutter in the street and I ran it down the gutter. It's all downhill. I've got it disconnected from the spigot. So now as I start to roll it up, since it's going downhill, the water is going to flow straight out into the, into the drain in the street or go down in the gutter in the street and then out to the drain. So just let me get the water out of the hose and get it all rolled up and uh, ready to put away. We're back in the garage. We got the wheelbarrow all cleaned up. I uh, got the hose put away. Make sure when you put your hose away for winter, and it is getting time to do that, especially here in the Midwest, that you do drain it before you put it away because if you don't get the water out of your hose and you just roll it up and put it away full of water, uh, it could still freeze and it could burst your hose. Uh, definitely get the hose disconnected from the house at the least because you don't want that water to uh, at the spigot, you know, I've had them before, this has been a while, but my, underneath my house, my crawl space was not insulated and I did not have any insulation, it was a house I bought. I didn't know this at the time, but I didn't have any insulation on the, the spigot inside the house where the pipe met the wall. And uh, of course there was, air could get in around the spigot and it actually froze and burst. We heard water running one day. It went out and went under the house and the, it looked like a marble was had gotten inside of the uh, spigot, you know, the pipe inside, and it just split right down the right down the side of it. So uh, always disconnect them and um, empty that hose out, and that'll save you a lot of headaches. So that project's done, or those two projects are done. We're back in the garage. We've got the garage door shut. Thank goodness, because I tell you what, it was chillier than I expected out there. Uh, it's good to be in here where we can warm up a little bit. Uh, I won't be doing a lot of filming of what we're working on in the garage, but we are going to go ahead and get this cleaned, and I will come back and show you what it looks like. I'd like to thank you for following along, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon.